Hey, what's up everybody? Guy Cochran here today and I wanted to show you guys some cool stuff on the ATEM Mini. So I've got a couple different cameras here and the first one I want to cut to is this one and I'm going to make me go away. So this is the ATEM Mini here and what we're going to do is we're going to show how we can set up picture in a picture. So right now you'll notice if I do hit the key button that turns it on and off. That's my key here and that's turning me on and off. So how did I get to that spot? Well, let's go to one and we're gonna check it out. So cut to one, and this is the ATEM setup. So in here, you're gonna notice that you can do a few things. One of them is change your switching mode from program preview to cut bus. Uh, the default is cut bus, I like program preview. What this does is it gives me that, um, that green, instead of just immediately cutting to that, uh, what it'll do is it'll, it'll preview it um, and if I have preview on my monitor, so this is the HDMI out, I can actually preview the shot before I take it. So that, that's normally the way that we do it on some of the bigger uh, switchers. But for this um, video, we're just going to show how we can quickly get up to speed on one cut. And we want to show the chroma key here. So we're going to stay... Um, on with transition we're going to go ahead and hit save so this is all set up and this is the ATEM software control panel and what we're going to do here is to to get to the chroma key you you click here on this tab um, and it, it'll be on a default of, of luma if you don't see this uh, you may have to scroll up or down so um, the first one that we want to go to is chroma key and the fill source is going to be the camera that you have plugged in. So mine is uh, camera three and that's ready to go. And then the chroma sample is um, the color. So let, let's, let's take a look real quick at what this looks like. So uh, camera three, we're gonna cut over to that real quick. So this is what camera three looks like. It's actually a, a blue screen and we can go ahead and cut back and if we want to uh, choose a color, we can say sample the color and we can actually move around. You can't see it right now, but um, if we had preview, the output preview, actually we could do this. We're gonna go up here to output and we're gonna go to preview. And now you can see that range as I move it around. So I'm gonna pick a color that has a little bit of shadowing in it here and I'm gonna go ahead and switch my output back to program. So all I did up there was I switched my program to preview and now I'm back to program. So you can have any of these um, for your HDMI out, you can have any of these be your HDMI out. So camera one, two, three, four, program or preview or camera one direct is for if you have a, a game that you wanna do uh, a gaming console and you want low latency, that's just direct with no scaling. Cause all these inputs are scaling. Um, if so camera one camera two camera three you can have 1080p 720p 1080i and it'll it'll automatically uh, put it to a uh, it'll, it'll handle it and you can kick out 1080p from 720i or 720p if you wanted to so we're going to go ahead and choose program we've got our color picked uh, oh yeah and then this slider makes it bigger if you want to sample an even larger area now, I've already kind of adjusted the foreground and background a little bit, so I'm just gonna zero these out just so you guys can see what the nasty, actually to, to zero it out, you can go here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do a reset all so you can see that this is now zero, zero and five oh. And if I hit the on air button, you can see that I'm here, I'm on air. And um, that's basically it, you know. On air is taking, that's, that's the same as hitting this, uh, the button um, that says key on the switcher itself is the on-air button. But you can see that I don't want this big monitor in the way, so we're gonna, we're gonna crop that out real quick. So we're, we're gonna quickly uh, scroll down and we're gonna hit mask, and we're just going to uh, mask off a portion of the left. So we'll just say that we want this to be zero. And now, whoop, that was probably a little bit too much. And you can see that if we increase it, that's going way too slow. So I think it was around negative five, probably. Yeah, there we go. But you still see all this blue and we don't want that, that blue. We want it to actually be, 
we want it to be a little bit cleaned up. So we're going to take this foreground and we're going to play with it a little bit and background. And that just cleans it up. And key edge. And there we go. Pretty clean. It's eating into the background a little bit here because this is blue. And you're probably wondering how I got to this size. Well, that's what you call a flying key. So normally I would be about this big, but I'm going to click on flying key. And what this allows me to do is uh, change my position so I can put myself wherever I want me to be. Right there and maybe one more over. This is kind of cool because I can also say set this position as set B. And let's say, for instance, I, I want to put myself down in the bottom sometimes. So I want to go um, down here sometimes. I could set that as A. And now I could run from full. Oh, now you can't see. <laughs> to uh, I'm going to run to A. Then I'm going to run to B. So you can see what that does. Run A, run B. So this is flying key. And you can even add um, you know, different uh, media if you wanted to. And I have a, a still image. So this is a um, JPEG that I put in. So that's on Media Player 1. So I can go back to the switcher. And if I wanted to have that as my background, I can um, preview it first if I wanted to, or I could just um, take it. And so that'd be a different background. That'd be a stills background. Um, and if I wanted you guys to see, again, what the, what the ATEM looks like, um, Here's that ability to turn the key. Ah, I'm in the way. So this, <laughs> this is when it's nice to have um, your laptop open and be able to say, uh, you know, in this case, run to A. So just to walk you around real quick, this is turning me on and off, that key on and off. I've got my computer on one, so I'm going to preview it. And then if I hit cut, it's going to go ahead and take it. Uh, two, I have nothing, I have nothing in there. For, let's go back to four. So you could bounce back and forth between the two just by hitting cut and cut. So again, this is this camera that's looking at the ATEM. This is the um, laptop. And then three is the camera, which is that camera that you're seeing me at. So again, back to the laptop so we can see what's going on. Actually, I want to show you one more thing. The audio is coming in through a handheld that you can see here uh, right there and I can turn my levels up and down and uh, I can mute myself turn it off so basically to give you a quick tour you've got mic on and off but these are all also audio here you the AFV is audio follows video I'm not taking any of the audio from any of these but I could say uh, that I want the the microphone or the sound from my laptop if this was a game um, I can take that audio AFV is just when it switches, when you take that, to have the audio come on as well. Um, we also have, um, you know, still, which is uh, what we already saw. So I can preview my still, and then I can hit cut and take that still. Go back to, actually, that's, that's uh, no, let's go back to four. So we'll just say cut. If you hit auto, that's the fade or the mix. So right now, We've got mix on there, but we can also do a dip, dip to color. We can do like one of these fancy, um, actually, what is that one? I thought that was a slide. Let's see. Yeah, there it goes. It's a little wipe, wipe from the side. And then here's the duration of uh, if you want it to be faster or if you want it to be slower. So let's go back to the laptop for a second. <laughs> oh man, that's a goofy transition. Uh, let me change that back to mix so that it doesn't drive me crazy. Oh, you can see it changing. If I hit mix versus dip, you see it changing. So I'm hitting it on the hardware control, mix versus dip. Actually, you guys could see that. Let me, let me change something here. If I went to, Actually, this isn't going to work because it's not a blue screen, but let's just see what happens if we put four here. Yeah, you could see like a picture in a picture where I could show you kind of both what's going on. So I could be hitting uh, mix and dip, and you guys are seeing 
it activate there. And then if I hit the, the key, it'll take that off and turn it back on. Pretty cool, but I'm going to switch this back to camera three so you guys can see me. And that pretty much sums up. Oh, um, you got audio here, which this mic is looking a little hot. Um, you've got uh, the ability to do equalization in here. Um, yeah, this is crazy. So you can bring up, um, if you had some highs you wanted to bring up, you can bring them up. If you wanted to bring up the mids, you can bring up the mids. Hey, 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 hey. I can't hear this right now, but I imagine that that sounds pretty good. All right, so we'll close out of the EQ and go back. So I showed you the media pool, showed you the switcher. So yeah, that's basically the entire thing. The only thing we didn't really go into is some of the macros, which you can automate a lot of things by, um, basically you can create macros, you name one, guy is my name, hit record. Anyways, you can play with the macros, cool stuff. So that's going to wrap it up, guys. Hope you enjoyed watching this and um, go ahead and like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave them below in the comments. Thanks.